Okay, this is how you uh, prepare the ends of Teflon coaxial cable. First, somehow you have to go around the jacket with a razor blade, but don't push too hard. And you can see that I've got this loose. So the jacket's loose. Now, if the jacket doesn't pull off, you can carefully slice the jacket lengthwise without cutting into the braid so you have to use light pressure to get that jacket off. Now we have the braid so how do we cut the braid back and make the braid look neat? Well we bunch the braid back a little bit like this there's a little bit of the center conductor exposed and you bunch the braid backwards and then we tin it now you can use a solder pot for tinning or just tin it this way. But we tin it where we want to cut it and get a good layer of solder on it. And this is after this is after we uh, push the braid back and bunch the braid back, bunch the braid up a little bit. And I'm going to flood the braid with solder just out in this area, not back up under the jacket. And I'm working on a piece of fiberglass too so I don't mess my bench carpet up. Then what we have to do is go around the solder and score it. So we can we can roll the coax, we can roll the coax over to score it, or we could go around it with a knife but we go around it and score it. Then all we have to do is use a pair of pliers or something and we just break the braid right there. The braid cracked where I scored it and there comes the braid. So the braid's off. Now we got a neat looking there's a pretty neat looking end on the braid and to do the center I have to be real careful that I don't cut too far into the center so I want to use uh, either something a little bit dull or real light pressure and again I'm going to roll the coax but instead of rolling the coax I could have um, I could have also just rolled the knife or sharp edge around it and I get a little I get a little cut in the coax out in the insulation and I pull it off and there we have a nice clean end and good dielectric and a nice shield that has a good abrupt end. So that's all you have to do when you're prepping a Teflon coax. It's real easy to work with. Here's a tiny piece. It's the same way. I can just take it and roll it or roll the sharp knife around it peel the jacket off so I have a little piece of jacket laying here and then I can push this together and bunch it up a little bit so it's it's bunched up and then I can tin it Now I have now I have the braid uh, tinned all around there. It's still a little hot, but um, and then I do the same thing. I score it without cutting through it. I score it. Then I can break it, slide it off. Now I've got a nice I've got a nice clean cut on the shield. A nice straight edge on the shield. And then I do the same thing with the center, very carefully so I don't cut into the center conductor and nick the center conductor. I roll it over and split the uh, insulation. And then all I have to do is get a pair of pliers 
and pull it off. And so now I have a real nice uh, end on the cable. And that's it. Pretty quick to do this.